So today we're making a covered marble notebook. These are nine and three quarters by seven and a half inches. And this one, I have just spray painted the edges to make it look a little more elegant. Choose a piece of fabric that is about 18 inches by 12 inches. See that the fabric wraps around the book and trim it to size. We need about a half an inch to wrap around. We're going to use something called Pellon or Fusible Web. This is a plastic substance that you iron onto the back of the fabric. We're going to create book cloth out of plain piece of fabric and paper. This gives the fabric body and prevents the glue from seeping through the fabric itself. We measure the pallon. You have to be careful not to have any of the excess fusible web or pallon hanging over when you iron or you will get plastic material stuck to your iron or to your ironing board. You want to set your iron to the highest temperature and make sure that you iron all of the fabric paying a special attention to the edges and the corners. After the pallon is cool, we peel it off. After you've peeled off the backing of the interface, we're going to iron on a piece of newsprint or copy paper. Newsprint I find works best. It's very forgiving. It's very absorbent. Now we're ironing on. Again, pay special attention to the edges and the corners. See any little bumps? Work them out. Now we measure to make sure that we have complete coverage here. And now we mark the center and the edges of the book. Any white glue that you have, liquid glue, works fine. You could even use a glue stick for this. Piece of wax paper inside to protect the pages and apply the glue evenly and completely. Press hard, flip it over, and press again. Using a folding tool, press out any bubbles you may find. I'd like to press from the center out to the edges. Now we're going to let this dry for a little while. I use a covered brick and a flat board. You can use cardboard, whatever you need. Now we're doing the same for the front of the book. We're gonna let this dry again like we did for the other side. Now we're going to check again to make sure everything is smooth. Here we're going to press the corners. I like to fold them down first, making sure they're very square, and we're going to simply glue with a glue stick. Protect any surfaces with wax paper, apply glue, press down, make sure everything adheres well. to work on the edges. Again, press, encourage the fabric and paper to fold cleanly. Apply the glue and fold around. I'm going to treat the spine of the book here. I'm going to make two slits right where the book folds and cut off a little bit that I'm going to tuck behind the stitching. And now I'm going to glue the top of the book, fold that down, both front and back. Now here I am poking the fabric down behind the stitching, treating the front and back of the book, checking everything for fit, and pressing. We're going to apply a button now. I like to measure up from the top, have the button placed a little bit higher than the center. Make a little light mark with your awl, and then we have to protect the pages, so I like to put a piece of cardboard down, and I press in with my awl and make a hole right through my book. Now I'm going to use a cord. I use about six to eight inches of cord and beeswax to strengthen the cord and make it easy to pass through the holes in the button and the holes in the book. Tie a knot. This just gives a little bit of a separation between the button and the book itself. Put the two cords through the hole that you've made. tie a double or triple knot. Now we're going to press down with the folder 
to close up some of that space and glue down those two ends of the cord. Now we're going to take about a foot of cord, poke a hole after measuring. We're going to put about four inches of cord through, tie a knot and glue it down. And that's how it closes. Now we're going to make a fly leaf in the front and back. I start with paper that is exactly the same height as my book, which is nine and three quarter inches. I measure it, make a fold at about seven and a half inches, trim off my corners at a 45 degree angle, and check for fit. Now I'm going to glue the fly leaf to the inside cover, measure carefully, place the fold of my paper inside the fold of the book, and check carefully. Repeat this for the back cover. Here we're covering the inside covers, front and back. We'll cover our string and all the edges. Trim our paper at the corners. Here we're going to apply glue to the entire inside cover of the book. Position it carefully there. Rub well with the bone folder and check for fit. and repeat for the back cover. Make sure everything's smooth, rub it down if you need to. Look for any bubbles. Makes it look a little more finished when you round the corners. And there's our finished product.